What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and today we have in front of you the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Alicon. And I am so late to getting these things. I am so sorry. There's a lot of things going on in my life right now that I gotta work on, but I'm still gonna do reviews. I'm still gonna do new snippets. And you guys pray for me. I'm gonna get toys. We're gonna get through this. I have to get through this. I've been a little under the weather. Let's go. So I finally got this thing and I'm not gonna lie, man, I enjoy this so far. I haven't even transformed yet. I've just been playing with him in robot mode. And he's, I know he's supposed to be a bad guy, but he is kind of cute. Like a little, a little, little cute, little robot. I love it. I love it. I, I wish, I, I can't wait to get the other set uh, once things get better. I do have it on pre-order so I can get the, he's like an alternate version of him. But I've got to say, I love this thing, you know. I love this. Now let's get into articulation right now. Uh, so first things first, the arm does a 360. Yes, it does. Uh, the head moves up and down, and that's pretty cool. Then he's got this uh, spear weapon, and the other arm does the same thing. I love just having the spear. It's like, you know what I'm saying? This ah, it's so nice. And the legs, you know, they move out to here. And it does have a flap that moves up. So you'll be able to do that. You know, you can get the full range. I mean, you can do that. And, you know, if you take the back part off, you can also get even more range. And then from the back, this is actually detachable uh, right here on this uh, thing. A little, uh, you can make it like a swivel and you can, we can take it off. Let's look at it. Uh, as soon as I can, now it's probably not going to, oh, good, because I don't want to break it. Because this, this, this seems like this thing is just hard to get. And this is a tail. And I think it's like a weapon that you can use on him. And I think you can kind of pull it out. And then what you can do is give him a little choppy choppy sword. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, yeah, I got a spear and a sword. What up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a tough little guy. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, you know, you could just put this back on if you want and just fold it back down on his back you know and there's a trick to it you kind of have to collapse it but yes this thing is fantastic man if you if you pick one up and you love the movie and you know you love that iconic scene you want to get this one because when they come up when you finally get your hands on grimlock and the other dinobots it's going to be a lot of fun putting them together so we're going to do some quick you know, size comparisons. I don't have much on deck today because I've been cleaning. And, you know, I had to do some videos and I'm trying to minimize the space here because I have to spend so much time when I'm here bringing stuff in and putting it together. So I do apologize if I don't have anything bigger that's nearby or anything. I'm trying to see if I had any, like, uh, oh, here, I got a Voyager that I always, I leave it here at the studio, so... Um, we could compare it to Voyager as well. And that's about all I got here today. So please forgive me because we were doing some things. Um, but if you want to see even more comparison, you know, here's uh Megatron and you know he's a small deluxe, you know, and I always considered these guys to be small, but he, you know, is a lot smaller, which makes sense, you know what I'm saying? You know. I really wish I had my hot rod and my uh scourge here, but that I ordered from CMD store and not a little pleased with them as far as time frame because it's been over a month. Uh, and they take your money out before they even send it to you. And I think that's kind of bad. And, you know, I'm just like, yeah, well, whatever. So we're just going to, so you can see here what they look like. And, yeah, he's very nice and very cool. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start the transformation. Uh, so we're going to be back for a quick pause and do the transformation. And then we're going to sum everything up. And now we're going to get into the transformation. So the first thing you want to do is take this out. Then after that, you want to pay attention to these tabs right there. Why? Because the arms are going to go right there. So it really doesn't do like a full-on scale transformation. I want y'all to really kind of understand this. It's kind of, you know, what it does. You know, it's kind of just flip around, turn around thing. That's really all it does. So once you peg those in there, you know, you just kind of flip this up you know and then turn that around 
Then you want to turn these around. And I don't know if you guys are in the third party, but it kind of transforms like uh, the guy. Uh, he's in uh, the Dinobot, not the Dinobots. Uh, what's the name of the, the group? They form Dino King. Uh, those guys. He has a very similar transformation to that guy. It's really weird. And then, oh, turn that around, by the way, because you want to turn that around. That's really important. Then after that, you kind of just want to, you know, make sure everything tabs in to here. So I know I'm missing something to make the head go in. And by the way, I want y'all to know I do this off the cuff. So if I miss something, you know, forgive me. And make sure that this tab's on the other side. And then after that, you just kind of do like that and voila, you got what he turned into. He really just, really all it was, he just kind of turned around and, and he did that. And that was it. And, you know, the arms are a little rubbery. You can see there. And that's it. I mean, that's the extent of the transformation he's a alligator you know just a plain cute looking alligator and you can you know do him like that if you really want to get that you know monstrous i always love that you know look but i mean yeah that's pretty much what he does he's he's a crocodile crocodile i'm a crocodile you know you can turn the fist like this if you want i really mean, the fists don't retract but I mean, you know, that's it. That's that's the extent of the transformation. Fortunately, I don't have any monster bots nearby or anything. Um, but you can always put the spear back in here, too. If you want them to be like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like Dino. He's got a big mouth. Let's look at the mouth. Like that. I got a big mouth. I'm going to eat you. You know what I'm saying? It's so cute. Even like this, he's still, <laughs> he's still cute. You want to compare it to something? I got something to compare it to. Then we're getting out of here. So we got one more thing we got to do, and that's going to be, you know, a pretty long review. You know, you could just imagine he's compared to good old Ironhide here. And unfortunately, I know Ironhide died in the movie, but I don't have a cup or anybody else nearby. You could just kind of go like this and just be like, pow. Get out of my way, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you can do an alternate, you know, future or something like that. So, yeah, it's cute. It's posable. It's got the little cute little arms and, you know, it's it's cute. How are you, you going to get upset with this? You know what I'm saying? It's cute. You know, I, just, I love this thing, man. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. Here we go. Out of my way. <laughs> you have, man, they're going to tell me, like, get off of YouTube. All right, so we're going to go into the final thoughts, and we'll be right back. Final thoughts. I like this toy. It's a very nice toy. If you are in the market for army building these, if you could find them, maybe buy two or three, and then you could put them behind the guy that's going to come. If you still are like me, just pre-ordered the Quintesson set about a month and a half ago. Uh, you know, that comes with the pit, of, the pit was a pit of judgment. Right there, the ultimate version of him. And other than that, I mean, he does everything he's supposed to do. There's nothing wrong with this toy. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have waist articulation, I know. But who cares, okay? Let's stop getting so caught up in articulation, okay? If you want articulation, you're going to have to get your red figures for that. Other than that, buy it. It's nice. It's cool. It's fun. It's, hey, it's cute. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just don't know it. So overall, I give him... A 10 because he does what he's supposed to do it's nice and simple transformation's easy we already know how it's going to turn out so yeah i'm done and again i want to thank you to all my subscribers thank you very much thank you for all the youtubers that you know rock with me i know a lot of you don't i'm okay with that uh other than that please like subscribe and share leave your comments down in the uh you know comment section below where my finger is pointing and tell me how you feel. If you didn't like the review, fine. If you like the review, great. If you like the toy, great. You don't like the toy, great. It's all about us. We're here the collectors. We're the buyers. So, hey, thank you. This is Super Robot Ed signing out. Have a good one. We got one more coming.